Hey guys, welcome back to our house. Today we are playing Oz Flux. Um, I'm sure that a lot of people have heard about Flux if the game the rules are ever in Flux. Um, today we are playing the Wizard of Oz version. Um, across the table from me I have my beautiful bride to be, uh, Melissa. Uh, a real treat, if I may say. Um, this we picked up a, a few weeks ago, and she'd never even heard of it, but because it was Wizard of Oz themed, she was willing to try it, and she fell in love with it. So, uh, today we're going to show you guys how to play it. Well, more of a playthrough, but, uh, we will show you guys how to play it, because it's really very simple. The rules are, you draw one, and you play one. Ish. Um, the rules change. So sometimes you can draw more. Go ahead. Sometimes you can draw more. Sometimes you have to play more. Sometimes uh, you're not allowed to draw at all. Um, I feel like I'm whispering. I really hope that they can hear me. <laughs> um, the way that you win is by meeting the goal requirement. So on this particular card, you have to have the two keepers that are at the bottom. And a keeper is a card that you play just directly in front of you. Uh, you just you just play it right there, and that's that's your one play. Sometimes the play is changing a rule. Sometimes the play is playing a keeper or or changing the goal. Sometimes it's an action. It's something that you do. Yeah, go ahead. Don't wait on me. So she is playing double agenda. From now on, we're allowed to have two goals. Um, if if this card gets discarded or if a third goal is about to be played then whoever's playing that card chooses which goal is being discarded um so today or right now i'm going to play cowardly lion so there's the rules that's my keeper This game is a little, this game is a little uh, slow starting uh, because you only play one and draw one, but uh, it can move very, very quickly uh, depending on how well you know the game or how well you know the cards or how many you're drawing. So for these time periods where it's Melissa's turn, uh, don't be afraid to hit that scroll button and just bump up a few seconds. Um, she's very methodical in her in her decisions. Um, she has played play three, and all rules take effect immediately, which means that she now gets to play two more cards to meet the current play rule. Where are we discarding? Uh, right. But you don't, that's, you can't just discard. Well, okay, so That's a rule. One. Yeah, okay. Sorry. And then you're going to discard those two? Yeah. Okay. Going to draw two? And that ends your turn, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so this particular card is get on with it. She can discard, at any time, uh, someone can discard their entire hand and draw that many cards. But if you do that, that's the end of your turn. And you have to play that, that, you have to decide to play that rule before the last play of your turn. So draw one, play three. I'm going to play the artificial heart. I'm going to play these two goals. So it is your turn. Um, I already showed you guys the first goal. That is the second goal, having the Emerald City and the, um, the Yellow Brick Road. Did 
Did you draw three cards when you played this? I drew two. You drew two, okay. So actually, if you do use this rule, you discard your entire hand and you draw three cards. So, there's an extra card. Hmm. One thing that's very fun about this game is um, the person who goes first is just the person who declares it. So it doesn't matter who dealt, it doesn't matter who's to the left of the dealer. <coughs> uh, whoever wants to go first, all you have to say is, I'm going first. Uh, but I actually let Melissa go first because I dealt and I wanted to talk to you guys first. Keep on with three. Okay, so now the person who has Scarecrow and the Artificial Brain uh, can win, or the person with the Tin Woodman and the Bucket of Water. Go ahead. Okay, so when you play a card, an action card, um, you do whatever it says, and it's all considered one play. But like this, this card here, she drew three and she has to keep those separate from her hand. Okay, and now the person with the three um, best friends would win. Uh, so draw one. I am going to play Surprise Veto, and we are going to discard that card. So there's that, and then I'm going to play the Get On With It, so I'm going to discard my hand and draw three cards. Sure go. Trying to get some interesting cards, and this is what I end up with. Well, that's not going to help nothing. Uh, while I have a minute here, uh, I'm going to get to that part of the video that everybody hates. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom. Uh, also, if you guys like what we're doing here, please feel free to share as many videos as you can. Uh, truth be told, if you don't like what we're doing, share as many videos as you can. Um, we can't grow without you guys. And that's what we need. Okay, I only have two cards, so I'm going to play the surprise. Okay. This card is a current goal or goal. Also, all other players must discard a goal or a random card from their hand. Okay. So, there's that. And then the only one that I want to have is all creepers and player discard it. So okay. Um, so, the play, play three rule if you don't have three cards in your hand, then you just play as many as you have. Um, I really don't want to play any of these cards, but I guess what I'll do is just so we have a goal on the table. Um, both of these have the hot air balloon. This one says if you have the balloon and Toto, this one says balloon and Kansas, uh, then you would win. And then I'm going to use the roll again, discard my hand, and draw three. So some of these rules go ahead. Some of these rules are kind of broken, um, like this one here. If you have less than three cards, you can discard it and draw up to three cards. Um, some of them are just harsh, like um, draw five but only play one. Um, makes for kind of a long game. Uh, so she drew one and she played as many as she could. I will play the Yellow Brick Road. And I will change this one to that one, and I'm going to discard that to draw three cards. Go ahead. Okay. 
So since we already have a play rule in effect, if she had played this, the old rule, because it contradicts it, would have been discarded. Um, but it's no big deal to have one more play when you're already playing, when you're already uh, under the number of cards that you need to play. So she just discarded it and drew uh, more. Um, I am going to play Potion of Courage. So, actually, just how you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to play Jackpot. It lets me draw three cards. Which one of them is Creeper? So there's the Wicked Witch of the West. When you draw a Creeper, the Creeper automatically gets played and you draw another card to replace it. Um, I've only played two cards, right? That and that. Mm -hmm. So I will play Hot Air Balloon. And it is your turn. Because I've played my three cards. Like I said earlier, if you guys like what we're doing and you want to see more of this, let us know. We have one more uh, Flux game. We have Star Flux. Go ahead. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, we have Star Flux, which I know that Will Wheaton on Tabletop has played. Um, and it's a very interesting looking game. If you guys want to see us play that, let us know. Or if you want to see us play any other Flux games, let us know. And we will go get them. Method of action. Take okay. your choice of any keeper or creeper from in front of any player and put it in the discard pile. Okay. So I'm going to take the hot one. Okay. And everybody gets one action. Set my hand aside and count the number of players in the game, including yourself. Draw enough cards to give one card to each player and do so. Awesome. So what, uh, in case you didn't catch all that, she's going to draw enough cards for everybody, one for everybody, and she decides who gets what. So we played this game with her family. There were six of us, five or six of us playing, um, and her dad drew that card and handed out the cards to everybody um, that, that he wanted them to have. Um, the only downside about that is if you are playing in a large group, if you draw any creepers because of that card, the creepers still go in front of you. Uh, and then you draw other cards to replace it. And she gave me, use what you take. Um, so first I'm going to draw one, which is a stinking creeper. Alright, so now I've got the Wicked Witch of the West and her stupid monkeys. Um, I don't really care about that. I definitely don't care about those two. So I'm going to play Field of Poppies, which says that unless somebody has the Tin Woodman or the Scarecrow, I get to skip everybody else's turn. So I'm going to skip her turn here in a minute. Um, and use what you take. Take a card at random from another player's hand and play it. So I'm going to take a card from her hand without her letting me see him. And this one. Okay, gifts from the Wizard. So now all I have to do is have a wizard because I am so close to winning. The only problem though is I've got two keeper or two creepers on my table, which doesn't help nothing. Um, for my because I haven't played three cards, I'm gonna play get on with it, discard those to draw three, and then because we're skipping your turn, I can draw another one, and I'm gonna play. Um, this first so that's the bucket of water and the water says that if I have that I can discard the Wicked Witch uh, from anywhere on the table 
and since she's in front of me, of course I'm going to discard her. The monkeys say if the Wicked Witch is in the discard pile, you can discard this during your turn. So there's that too. Um, so now I just need the wizard. So I played the keeper. That won't help anything. Um, no. And no. So I guess... I guess I'll go ahead and discard and draw three more. Go ahead. So as I mentioned earlier, new rules take effect immediately. She, she drew one card at the beginning of play, and then she played draw five. Well, the rule as of now is you have to draw five cards. So she drew four more to replace the ones that she didn't draw. And she still has two more plays. She has the artificial brain. Go ahead. I just like keeping the, the uh, lion and his potion of courage together. <laughs> and I gotta tell you guys, I mean, unless you're looking at these cards in person, uh, you just can't really appreciate them. A lot of these cards are really, really well illustrated. Like, I mean, the lion does look, in fact, afraid. Um, potion of courage, you know, it looks very unique. I'm gonna borrow your card, babe. Mm -hmm. Her artificial brain looks very realistic, as well as the artificial heart. So, I mean, just gorgeous illustrations, really. Um, for the record, this game was published by uh, Looney Labs, which is right there on the side. And it was actually created by two uh, um, NASA scientists. So if anyone doesn't think scientists have a humorous side, you should pick up this game. I'm going to play the action exchange creeper. Pick any creeper another player has on, or a keeper, sorry. Okay. Pick any keeper that another player has on the table and exchange it for one that you have on the table. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to exchange my burn stick for the artificial. Okay. I have a feeling I know what you have, or what you're trying to have. So that was your second play, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to discard. discard okay. Sorry. So keep in mind, guys, that the whole discarding and drawing thing is not something in the basic rules. It is a specifically new rule card. Fighting trees. Solid gun. And I discard winged monkeys. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna play Falling House. Uh, that's my first play. I'm going to play this one here for my second play, discard my hand, and draw that many cards. And I will play this here for my third play, but I can discard the trees for having the, wood, the ten woodmen. It is your turn. I can't believe you took that. You took my heart, baby. <laughs> I need to draw five cards. Did I? I don't think I did. I, didn't draw. I don't know. Because <laughs> I would have discarded a lot more when I did that. I think I only drew yeah. one. That's alright. I didn't do it on purpose. I'm not trying to break the rules. Yeah. 
But yeah, anyway, so what I did with the trees was uh, the Tin Woodman, he has a special effect that says uh, if I have fighting trees, I can discard it. Um, I will do draw two and use them. Okay. your hand decide, draw two cards, play them in any order you choose, then pick up your hand and continue with your turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, well, I mean, it gets okay, discarded. Yeah. So her new rule contradicts the old rule. So from now on, you draw four cards instead of five. And this one is a new rule, Magic Shoes. Okay. Uh, we'll just put it here in the middle to separate us. So uh, Magic Slippers uh, says that if you want to click your heels three times, then you can draw a card and play a card. Um, if you watch the Will Wheaton Star Fox, uh episode, uh, this is the very same card as Wormhole. Uh, are you, that was your third action by playing the draw two, play two. Yes. Are you going to invoke this? No. Okay. So you can invoke this at any time during your turn. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So it's just draw one and play it. So cool. I got Dorothy. And then I'm going to draw four cards for myself. One, two, three, four. And I think... No, I'm wrong. Alright, All right, so first action, I'm going to play the uh, Wizard of Oz, and then I am going to play uh, What Do You Want? I get to search the discard pile for a card, and depending on which card I draw, I get to do something specific. If it's a creeper, it has to be played at once. If it's a keeper or a goal, I have to show what it is and put it in my hand. But what I'm going after is an action, which will get played immediately. And I am looking for a card that Melissa used earlier on me, which is Exchange Keepers. I am taking back my artificial heart, and you can have the Falling House, just because. And now I have the Wizard of Oz, Artificial Heart, and the Potion of Courage, which means, according to gifts from the wizard, you have to have the Wizard of Oz and any two of his three gifts. The Artificial Heart, the Potion of Courage, or the Artificial Brain. And I am taking victory because I have these three cards. Yay! So, um... Everybody say thank you to Melissa for joining us today, and um, I thank you guys for joining us today. I hope that you guys enjoyed our little demonstration of the game Oz Flux, brought to you by Looney Labs. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down at the bottom. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. Um, if you can share them on Facebook, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see a bunch of people posting my videos. Uh, anyone that wants to see any more games, any different games, if you um, want to know about a game, uh, whatever, just let us know. Uh, also, we do devotionals uh, two or three times a week, or we try to. We're trying to set up a permanent schedule. If you guys want to hear something specific or need better understanding of something in the Bible, please do not hesitate to comment on any of our videos and we will respond just as soon as we can. Um, if you guys need help or counseling uh, through something, you know, just comment and we will do our best to find a way to email you or contact you and uh, do what we can to counsel, uh, offer our help or our opinion, or find scripture that maybe can relate to your situation. Um, guys, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.